Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Classic Reddit, where real humans read Reddit content. Today our post is, what was a fact that you regret knowing? By D-D-E-D-D-F-F-D-D-W-V-F. What a name. By Glassy. Most people who jump off the Golden Gate Bridge don't die on impact. They have broken limbs and usually drown. In response, yes, but also they are often unconscious. But the thought of drowning is pretty fucking horrid, I must say. And some people who have survived regretted jumping during the fall. There's a guy who jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge and decided at the last second he didn't want to die. After he hit the water, he was so badly injured and claims that a seal pushed him over to a pillar, if I remember correctly, and he managed to survive the jump. He talks about it in the documentary, The Bridge, and has a few videos on YouTube. By Virgilian. The existence of dust mites. In response, I have long since accepted that I am an ecosystem. An answer by Jenny Madison Jin. There was a woman in the 18th century called Mary Toft who stuffed dead rabbits into her vagina and later acted like she gave birth to them. The doctors believed her until one of them examined corn inside the rabbit's stomach and found out that she also did the same with a hog's bladder and cat legs. Don't know why I even know this. Please don't put rabbits in your vagina or any other hole. In response by shit on a reindeer, the corn in the rabbit's stomach is what tipped them off? There was once a woman named Mary. Her babies came out quite hairy. One day, Mrs. Toft was sick and she coughed, and out came an entire prairie. It's <laughs> pretty funny. By Seth's Woman Infinity. My dad and I both took DNA tests for fun, and I found out we aren't related. A 0% match. Life hacks for when you don't want to tell your child directly they're adopted by Go Turn Me On. For those asking what happened next from OP's comment history, I found out when I was 45. Long story long, I took a test for fun. My mom had taken one years ago, so I knew what her general contribution would be. I got my results, which were heavy on the indigenous American and Spain, not in my mom's DNA. I told my folks, married as long as I've been alive, and my dad wanted to test. He's older, not tech savvy, so I handled it for him. He came back with a 0% match to me. I never told either of them about the non-match. I just kind of letting it let it go, hoping that they would forget about the test. It's a total mind when you realize you had zero inkling there was any funny business. I hope you better luck with your biological family than I did. I was flat out rejected. I do have a Mexican great grandmother. I have found that a lot of the family now keep in touch because of me reaching out. And I've gotten in touch with several first and second cousins this way. I had posted on an ancestry DNA sub regarding my non-parental status. Figured out the man who raised me is not actually my biological father. A college student took my case on for free and helped me over the course of a couple years to narrow it down to one of two brothers, but they are not cooperative at all. And response by Nick9000. Sooner or later, we're going to be hit by another geomagnetic storm like the Carrington event of 1859. Only this time, our dependence on technology could make the events far worse. A response by Tush. Is that the sunstorm thingy which makes all the electronic devices stop working? I saw somewhere that that could happen around 2025. Edit. Apparently, the chances for that happening are around 2% every 100 years. 
post by Fui Selwe. Bob Ross actually hated his afro. When he started out, it was the cheapest hairstyle to maintain, and once he picked up some traction, it was too iconic for him to get rid of. This is the saddest thing I've ever read. I'm not going to share it with anybody. Now, this is the burden that I carry. By Bonus Beans. Maybe it's well known, but the song I Don't Like Mondays is based on a horrific story. A teenage girl named Brenda Spencer lived across the street from an elementary school. One day, there were a bunch of kids outside the gate waiting to be let in, and she just started shooting at them. None of the kids were killed, but two school employees were, the principal and a janitor. Afterwards, she went back home to wait for the police, and she called up a radio station to tell them what she did. When she asked her why, her answer was, I just don't like Mondays. It's a little cliche, I know, but this is my first time being famous, so humor me. Thank you for the awards, even if I don't understand why this was labeled wholesome. I was shocked when I saw I had 50 upvotes, lol. By All Right Landlord is that was, oh, that my real mom is my sister and that I'm adopted. Whoa. By Calamity J. From personal experience, just how fast pigs process a corpse. Had an old goat die in the barn and didn't find her for a couple hours. At the time, we had two pigs that were a few months old. I didn't realize just how much pigs can eat. Um, we effed up by letting those pigs be near that goat corpse. Come evening, we got to close up and do the evening chores, and we found half of the goat spilled all over the floor with the pigs just going to town. And that's the story of how 15-year-old me learned to respect pigs. Found, uh, by Gory Feldman. More people jumped from the Burning World Trade Center on 9-11 than you think. Do yourself a favor and don't Google it. A response by CJ Ryan. This is the fact that I was going to post. Watching 9-11 on TV, I was too young to know what was going on, but I remember my dad crying and saying, they're jumping, they're jumping, over and over. A response by M. Jane. My dad was in the first tower. He got out, but the worst part for him was walking over dead bodies that had jumped and hearing the people fall next to him. By Ujirt. Chainsaws were originally meant to be a surgeon's instrument. To aid in childbirth. What? I'm guessing medical chainsaws look vastly different than the chainsaws we know of today. A post by Gast Once Tra. I watched someone jump off of the Stone Arch Bridge in Minneapolis, and I saw them pee their pants right before they jumped. By Galactica Zero. The magnitude of how dirty hotel rooms are. The worst part of this for me is that I worked in housekeeping at a hotel room one summer when I was in high school. Maybe that particular hotel was just really good at keeping the place clean and was an exception, but I do have to wonder how much crap I just never noticed because I was a dumb teenager. The disappointing part of this is that I've worked front desk at a bunch of different hotels and those housekeepers are truly busting their asses. It's the hotel's fault. One place I worked at had them cleaning rooms in 11 minutes, and five of that was just vacuuming. In response by Rangers85, actor Daniel Von Bargen in Super Troopers and Seinfeld attempted suicide by shooting himself in the temple with a 38 revolver. He was diabetic and didn't want to go to the hospital for another amputation. Unfortunately, he survived and was severely wounded. 
He also was permanently blinded from the gunshot. There's a transcript of the police call that left me shook. He passed away three years later from a battle with diabetes. I remember reading, this is why some people duct tape the gun to their hand if they attempt suicide in case the first shot doesn't complete the job. For those asking why the duct tape, I believe the idea is that you can damage the part of your brain that affects your vision but not die from it. Then you are possibly disabled, blind, and in pain, but unable to finish what you started if you dropped or lost the gun. Not much fun to think about. In response by Zola Rose, I had a family friend that failed to kill himself that way as well. He managed to blow his jaw off. If things were bad before, whew. Yep, every time I see him on Malcolm in the Middle, I get sad knowing what happened. A post by Fino. That you have to clean lumps out from underneath a horse's foreskin from time to time. A response to that? No. No, I don't. <laughs> They're called beans. They're an accumulation of smegma that gets trapped right in front or above of the urethra opening. They can cause mild discomfort and urinary problems if they're not cleaned out. My horses get them removed during their annual teeth float or some other veterinary act that uses sedation. Some horses have to have them removed more often. Horses basically only exist to destroy themselves, right? A post by Tilly O. Tilly. An octopus penis is actually one of their tentacles. So if you would go and pet an octopus at SeaWorld or some other place, you could be groping their penis. So wait, they have seven legs and a dick or eight legs and a dick? Do female octopuses have fewer tentacles than males or do they have more legs but the same number of tentacles? Does that mean hentai isn't that far off base? A post by Zoidberg. The Challenger space shuttle astronauts were most likely alive and awake on the way down. NASA's lead investigator, Robert Overmeyer, concluded most, if not all, the crew were alive and possibly conscious during the entire descent until the impact with the ocean. After the investigation, Overmeyer said, I not only flew with Dick Scobie, we owned a plane together, and I know Scobie did everything he could to save his crew. Scob fought for any and every edge to survive. He flew that ship without wings all the way down. Mirian Chan. I've always thought that NASA has recordings of the last moments of Challenger and Columbia, but refuses to acknowledge they exist for the family's sake. By Caffeine and Vodka. The youngest recorded person to give birth was five years old. Dang, that's crazy. I was just reading about that again yesterday. It's so sad, I can't even fathom. Her mom said the daughter started getting periods at age three. The dad was arrested under suspicion that he was the rapist, but they couldn't prove it, so they let him go, and they never found out who it was. Her son grew up thinking they were brother and sister, but he was told at age 10 that his sister was actually his mother. So wild. A post by Sirius Seno. Jesus, she had her first period at eight months of age, and the doctors who helped her give birth confirmed she had fully matured genitals. Fuck. By a crazy myth, cockroaches can fly at five kilometers per hour and can live three weeks without their head. If they lose their head, they eventually do die of starvation. They have a main brain in their head and also a primitive brain near their abdomen. Cockroaches also predate grass. The last one is not that scary, but kind of scary. Knowing they've been here so long, getting them out will be harder, and they will probably outlive humans. A response by Cherry Lane, 9086. Oh Lord, I hate them so much, and I wish I hadn't read this. 
Cockroaches also predate grass. For a second, I thought you meant predate as in predator, and wondered, how can you hunt grass? There was one in my kitchen on its back, dying from what I can presume to be some insecticide I had sprayed earlier in the month. I just decided to let it be since it was out of the way as an experiment. About a week went by and I finally threw it in the trash with a paper towel. That little girl came back to life and started crawling around. I couldn't get the bag closed fast enough. A post by Susan Pig that my father died believing I was not his child. When my, fa- when my mother told me, it broke my heart and has forever changed my relationship with my family. Why did he believe that, though? Because of the wording, I assume he was wrong? A response by Lust EXE. Tapeworm faces are absolutely terrifying. Googled it and found pics of tapeworms in people's faces. That was worse. In response by Brown Coat, my parents are swingers and now well into their 70s. So you know that old folks' homes have the highest percentages of STDs as they don't have to worry about getting pregnant. By Durbinal, that people dump their old dogs at the shelter in December and get a new puppy for Christmas. Assholes. What? Why wouldn't they keep the dog? It would be completely trained, and the only expenses associated with keeping it are the normal expenses. Besides, wouldn't the cost of continually buying new dogs add up to a fortune? By Eric's 91 that my dad likely has terminal brain cancer. I was setting up his my chart for him and stumbled across the information. A response. I lost my dad to brain cancer. Since you said likely, I really hope he survives. If you need someone to talk to, feel free to private message me. I was diagnosed with a grade 2 astrocytoma this summer and had a tumor removal a month later. I'm still recovering. They're telling me the odds of it coming back are about 90%. So that's getting great. I feel your pain. Brain tumors suck. (laughs) Understatement. Jeez. By Chuck Yo Farley. From my first job at KFC. You really can't tell the chicken is spoiled once you put it in the fryer. A friend that used to work at KFC said they were told away, n- told to not throw away the spoiled chicken. They would just boil it before they fried it. So yeah, no more KFC for me. By Martin8506. That my girlfriend once sucked her friend's husband's penis when she went to the bathroom yesterday. <laughs> Don't put yourself through the pain of trying to continue the relationship. I've made that mistake before, and it isn't f***ing worth it. Leave her and find someone better. Also, the wife needs to know too, unless you don't think she can handle the news. Cheaters. Ouch. By War Kids. Aneurysms can happen to anyone at any time for no reason. Can confirm. Partner passed of one year earlier this year. We were talking in bed. I went to use the bath. She went to make coffee. Heard a crash. Fuck this year. In response by Forensic Paper 70, I'm actually taking a break from studying about aneurysms. I had a patient before that had a known aneurysm and didn't want to have surgery. Fast forward, it ruptured and was like flighted to a hospital and she begged the doctor to help her. He said there's nothing we could do and that's the first time I've actually seen someone's soul leave their body. She spiritually died when he said that. The next day, she was dead. The lady was so sweet and nice. Never know what a day will bring. Her daughter just stood at the doctor like, so you can help her. He repeated what he said, and it took the daughter a few minutes to to cope. That was probably the first time I cried at work. I had to walk to the break room. A response to what was a fact that you regret knowing by Dr. 904. 
Every time you write a fond memory, you rewrite that memory in your brain. And with time, it will slowly deviate more and more from what you originally remembered without you ever realizing. I didn't want to know this. Let me have what I thought was the truth until I fade away, damn it. I'm guessing that this happens with embarrassing memories, too. I had this moment in high school that just ate at me for decades. I reconnected with the offended party last year, and she didn't even remember it. Sigh. So much time wasted regretting. There was an experiment once where every hour, a rat had to choose between getting fed or having the pleasure nerve of its brain stimulated. And the rat being tested starved every time. It's pretty interesting, but also kind of sad. Thanks, Freeman's mind. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please respond in the comments. Let us know a post that you would like read by a real life human voice. And as always, subscribe. See you next time. Ciao.